The best and easiest way to get started with SMC is to use the included SMC building model and run the included getting started rule set. This serves as both an easy method to learn and understand SMC in a controlled environment, but also to expose the user to several different use cases and inspire ideas for future rule sets. This rule set can be run on other models, but is purpose built for the SMC model included. To begin, browse to and load the smcbuilding.ifc file, and be sure the discipline is set to architectural. Once the file is loaded, move to the checking tab and load the getting started rule set to begin checking. The getting started rule set is broken into different groups of checks. First, deficiency detection will check for deficiencies and poor modeling practices that may include missing or misplaced components or spaces. Next, component check ensures multiple types of components and their various dimensions are checked, allowing the user to be certain the components are modeled within reasonable or realistic boundaries. For example, you may want to check that slab dimensions are modeled to the correct thickness or that door and window openings are all of suitable size. The clearance in front of section of the rule set ensures that required space is available in front of and or behind a component. In this case, doors and windows. Of course, all of these use cases can be adjusted and various types of components such as access or service panels can be checked for clear space in the same method that doors and windows are checked in the getting started rule set. Lastly, space checking is dedicated to looking at the spaces or rooms of the model and verifying various requirements are met. In addition to just checking the quality assurance requirements, such as naming conventions and correct modeling practices, this type of check can be a very important step for later and more sophisticated types of space checking, such as verifying code requirements or ensuring accurate square footage for various types of spaces. We must verify that the model most importantly contains spaces in the first place and that all the other properties of those spaces are accurate and correct. Without this information and level of detail about spaces, more advanced checks in SMC would not be possible. Let's run a check and then review the results of the check while we explore the rules in more detail. Under deficiency detection, we'll first notice that there appears to be some issues with required components. If we select required components, the info window in the bottom left gives a brief description of what is being checked. Looking at the results, we can expand no components and no construction types and see that the issue is that in this model, there are no beam components in SMC building. Also, one of our stairs is missing. It's type information. Moving down our checking list, find missing component above column seems to identify some potential issues as well. If we select the rule and then select the result column components don't touch above visually, we can see right away what the issue may be. The modeled columns don't appear to touch the surface above. It should be clear why these deficiency detections are important. They provide a quick method for a user to verify issues where the model may be deficient. Through the component check section, we appear to have a problem with wall dimensions. If we investigate further, we will see that wall height is not within bounds. By right-clicking on a rule and selecting rule parameters, we can see the full parameter list of a rule. Here we can see the wall height should always be greater than 1 foot 8 inches. In reviewing the results and reading the info, we see that we have a wall that violates this height requirement. The clearance in front of check has generated results for windows. Again, we can review the results and determine which issues may be problems and which may simply be false positive results. In other words, technically many of these components are violating the clearance in front of windows rule, but we need to take a closer look to ensure whether perhaps some of the results are permissible. Space checking addresses many different types of checks. For example, you can see the first rule is labeled with the model should have spaces. This basic check will do just that. Check that the model contains space components. Luckily, this model does contain spaces, and so we can proceed to the other checks. Of course, if no spaces are modeled, none of the other space checking rules would be applicable. Our model appears to have all correct naming conventions, type and name, unique identifier, etc. But as before with the walls, we appear to have a space dimension result indicating one of our spaces may be too large or too small. 
we can review the results and find that a pipe shaft is only 7 square feet, where the requirement is greater than 10 square feet. This is likely a permissible issue, one that was planned for, and so we can accept the result indicating that there is no real problem. Lastly, looking through space validation, we have several issues. The visualization of each issue in the 3D window is different depending on the type of problem, and you'll see here that with space intersections and boundary issues, if we look at our office number 308, we see an arrow pointing to where the issue is occurring for office 308. The main problem is that a piece of the room has not been modeled, and therefore a section of the space has not been included and would be excluded from all of our future checks. The Getting Started rule set in SMC building are meant as a jumping off point for users looking to get into SMC and really start exploring many of the different potential BIM validation checks available. From here, the user can apply the Getting Started rule set to a real-life model or project and will almost certainly get some kinds of helpful results. Once various checks are explored via the Getting Started rule set, users can work with Celebri to create a custom rule set more reflective of their individual needs. Thank you for watching.